a meeting to order at 7.07. Start out with a reception of guests. Hello, everybody. Hello. How are you? Good. Good. So, I was, oh. Kate is going to be joining. Um, she is doing a um, with the University of Southern New Hampshire, Southern New Hampshire for administration, and so she's shadowing me with some things. And I'm here as the uh, central office administrative rep tonight. All right, so we'll move on to 1.2, agenda review and revisions. I have um, had in um, a resignation. So, so 5.2 would be accept. Do we need to put the name or just yeah, resignation? Just resignation. Which you mean the one that was in the um, WCS sheet packet? Okay. Any others? No? Okay. We'll move on to uh, the public comments and correspondence. Hearing none, we'll move along. Future meetings. April 9th will be Berlin School Board meeting at Berlin Elementary. And at 5.30. At 5.30, yes. Thank you very New much. Time. Um, the next one will be May 14th at 5.30 at Berlin. And June 6th will be the uh, full school board carousel meeting. Do we know what time? 5.30. Okay. All at 5.30. All right. So move on to 2.0 consent agenda. I didn't have any changes for the minutes. That they looked good. Well, I was only wondering why under reception of guests it had none, but we had Matthews being not considered a guest for some reason. Oh, and he actually was up there. And he even spoke. As other. Yeah. So one, You're right. 1.1 1. 1 under reception of guests, it should have, he was there from the beginning of the meeting, it should say Matthew DeGroote. Or how do you pronounce his name? Yeah. That's, I think it's right, anyways. <laughs> Is that the only change you had? So I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of March 16th with the one change noted. I'll second. Okay. Everybody that agrees, single, single uh, signal by saying aye. 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 All right, so move on to 3.0, the discussion agenda, which we, let's see, response to the AOE regarding the Act 46 questions. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> well, all I was going to say, and I don't think it really says it anywhere in here, but I assume you guys write it over too, but does it imply, and I don't think it does, but um, that the efficiency study that we would necessarily be doing all of them? Because to me, if you have a study done, it doesn't you know, I mean, how it was filled out was to say that it was either mostly done, partially done, not done, fully done. I think those were all the choices that were there. But I would hope it's not with the thought that everything is 
absolutely going to be done. I mean, because it's really up to the boards to discuss and decide, right? I mean, that's how it... I'm not sure. Did the efficiency I don't believe, study yeah, I don't believe, I mean, that was a while ago, but I don't believe it was ever with the intention that every single recommendation was going to be enacted. I think it was advisory around places I think it to consider where efficiencies could be made. I mean, and it's, it says, you know, opportunity. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't think anywhere in here it's saying that we will for sure be doing that. I think the other thing that's hard too is looking at the date when we did the efficiency study in 2014. Mm -hmm. um, for an example, the audit local board agendas. I think if any individual board did that work, it's hard to put it in this as a collaborative group response. There might have been one or two boards that did it, which I don't know. Right. But um, I think to also say that some of these responses might say not, but individual boards might have done the work. Mm -hmm. But I also um, just wanted to, for your um, knowledge, Eric, that these this is being sent back because the representatives that went to the Act 46 meeting um, didn't feel like when they walked away that they actually answered in a thorough um, way so this response back to some of the questions that were brought up is a more thorough way okay so that's why it's on our agenda to accept their responses even though they had the open meeting it's still better presented on paper as well they did not feel like they had the um know necessarily the authority to answer without or individual boards weighing in on that okay I, I almost I'm almost this is going to miss the board meeting because they were saying on um, BPR they're going to do a whole segment on uh, what the uh, resignation of um, was a whole thing would mean to ask 46 and it was like oh um, on BPR I wanted have to see if that's available later. It probably will be. Mm -hmm. So I'm not mm -hmm. sure what they said there. But. Yeah, that's what I wondered when I heard it yesterday. Mm -hmm. So are you guys comfortable with moving ahead with this? I am comfortable. Are you? Sure. Do you have any questions about it? No. Okay. Do you want me to make a motion? I'll make a motion. Oh, go ahead. No. There's the motion. Just the discussion. So you're gonna skip to five point one right now and then go back up. It's up to oh. when you want to do Eric. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. That's fine. I will make a motion to approve the response to the AOE regarding Act forty six question forty six questions. I'll okay. second. Go. Ahead. You got it? Sure. Okay. All right. All those in favor? Yeah, all those in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed? All right, ayes have it. Okay, so we'll move on to 4.1, reports to the board, the administration. After the fact, I had indicated that um, the uh, junior iron chef had won the award. They are going to be going down to the state house, I believe, next Thursday. And so be uh, presented uh, at the state house. And it's kind of fun. Awesome. So. I believe um, it's just that one group that we had two teams. Um, I believe it's just going to be that um, 
that one group that is going to be going down at one point, their level. So for them, so we'll get pictures and we'll put that in the next report and in the newsletter. And That's great. Cool. That happened after I. Uh, all right, we'll move to 4.2 finance. I don't think there is any. We yeah. to finance, nothing. No. Okay. Move on to the action agenda. We've already taken care of 5.1. We'll move on to 5.2 accepting a resignation. Did you put well, two of them apparently? Uh, it's in the year. This. No, pretty sure for now. Oh, that's a good There's the one that just got passed down to you, but then there was one in the uh, board pocket. There's two oh, of one them. One was just handed to me yep. today, and then one is in the packet. There's this one on page um, 19. Oh, thank you. So we have two resignations. One would be Caroline Clifton. She had a half time in the front office and a half time as paraeducator, and she is resigning from both positions. The other position um, is in the letter. I don't know if Eric, if you want to read it, or me just to acknowledge that it's a full time position. Uh, physical education, um, Travis Pocket is resigning this, uh, this year. I'm sorry, I don't have that literature in front of me. Can you tell me the last name again? Carolyn Clifton. Clifton. Do I have to read that in the last? You don't no. have to, no. Okay. And then Travis Pocket. Thank you. P A C U C T. I don't know if it needs to be read out loud or not. I, don't believe so. probably, probably. I just we all had the opportunity to read hers yeah. in the packet, so it would just That's, be good to read it before yeah, we. Yeah. I just wanted to make uh, didn't know if mm -hmm. we needed to read it out loud. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. My meeting running skills aren't up to par yet. No, no, no. We'll that, get there. I'll make a motion that we um, accept Caroline Clifton's resignation. Um, with with regret and gratitude for many years of service. I'll second. All those in favor? Not really in favor, but <laughs> all those accept the re resignation of Caroline Clifton? Uh, say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. So I'll make the motion to accept the resignation from Travis Paquette, regrettably. I'll second and just want to say thank you to him for his years of service at Berlin. All right. Everybody that accepts the resignation, please say so by saying aye. 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 Uh, opposed? Okay. Moving along. Approve 6.0, approve board orders. 
Yeah, not until. Not until. Okay. Am I dreaming thinking that Lori had sent out something recently? No, the ones that she sent out were for the last Friday meeting, not this past Friday. Okay. Can I ask to add to future agenda items that in the recognition letter of Cindy here, she asked that she could address the board at a meeting, so if you could put it in an agenda and then someone notify her the rest of the day. Or if you decide now that you would like, but I, I would think it would be when Chris or Eric make the agenda with uh, Bill Kimball, mm -hmm. but she would like to do it before the end of the school year. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Any other future agenda items that the board has? That's 7.7 7 for the same reason. Yep, we added 7.7. 7. Okay. And I would then say Farm to School would probably be re-added to it as a future agenda item. Okay. I just want to, with the Farm to School, if they could possibly do May instead of April, because we really wanted to focus our April meeting on board goal work. So would probably be better if it were me. So let me and Cindy now. Not Cindy. I don't. Cindy. I'm not sure. She probably would be. I think she means for farm. Farm to, to school. school. Not. Well, Cindy is part of farm to school, so I don't know if she would come for that presentation both. and stay for. Oh, discussion. and stay for both. Okay. I see what you're saying. So she wouldn't have to be two nights. Two nights. Out, but I, I'm not sure. It would be your. You know, it's up to you. It's it's uh, it's your agenda. It's what's created. Yeah, I think that would be okay if she came. One night. So I'll let her uh, know that in May. The 14th. 14th. Sure. I will let Cindy yeah. know. And I will let Maeve know. I believe it's also uh, Allison Levin is going to be doing it, so I'll let her know. All right. Any other future agenda items? There's um, um, policy. I don't know if uh, if it would work to have a brief conversation in April or not, but it's kind of an ongoing question. I think. Oh. Just as far as getting a complete set, and it sounded like it needed to be another board conversation. So. so we're gonna add that. Yep. Some board not. Okay. All right. What do you think we? Um, Maybe I've missed it. A school safety conversation. We we had one. Um, what was that, Eric? In about. Trying to think. Uh, February meeting. When did the month after you started? When? That was I started in September. So then it was a couple months. October. You brought it up. Uh, yeah. Well, that I was. When I when I brought it up, that was certainly before. Um, and before yeah, the world is not even crazy. Yeah, <laughs> I know. It's that just um, it, it, I can just say that um, there are the police are going around to every school and doing a full safety check. And I sat down with um, Officer Dan Withrow uh, yesterday. No, the day before. And uh, we went through the full check. There are a couple of things that we need to add to our student handbook. Uh, but other than that, uh, he feels really comfortable. Um, and um, we are talking at the admin team uh, to do district-wide update of um, our 
uh, procedures as far as um, what what terminology you use when you go into a different phase of need. For example, we do a secure the building here, they do something else. And we want some everything um, SU wide. So we're going to adopt what they're doing here at um, U32. Amy Millet. Molina. Or Amy Molina, thank you. Thank you. I have I know another Amy Millet. Amy Molina is uh, going to be heading that up because she's the she's kind of the um, one uh, guru in the district who is going to all the AOE meetings and keeping up with all of that. In talking with Dan Withrow, is that in addition to or instead of the Vermont State Police that are going around? I know CAF just had a segment sometime in the last day or two where they highlighted um, visiting Brown's Mill with um, Sergeant Lucas and just kind of going through what those steps are. They have, yeah, he had a checklist, he yeah. went through everything. Okay. So I think he's doing it in conjunction. I, I couldn't tell you definitely if we're in those. So I don't want to go on the record to say <laughs> that's what they're doing, but he had a very specific chest with a checklist, which was from the state of Vermont. Hmm. Okay. It sounds like um, adding 7.10 school safety after the leadership team has done that work together, um, we could bring it back. So it might be May, uh, May or June. June. And May looks like it's getting full, yeah. so you all will have to make that decision. But um, okay. yes. definitely to put it down for the future. It's, a, it's relevant and for the prize. Yeah. It's very unfortunate. Has the leadership team um, I'm not sure what their meeting schedule is like, but has that conversation started yeah. again or still? No, we started this conversation before that happened in Florida. Right, I understand that part of it. I'm saying, like, it, in addition to the previous conversations that were happening for the school safety, but the other pieces that go with it now. The idea of coordinating more and learning from each other and sort of auditing practices, that's been on the table. Um, and there's quite frankly been a bit of a, you know, we can't send the entire team from U32 to our meetings because we have to keep people at U32, right? So um, so we, it's just been a bit of a scheduling issue too. But it's definitely, I mean, it's something we have discussed. We, we discuss it somewhat routinely, uh, but at this point in time, bringing it back up and looking at um, more from a systems perspective as we have, uh, just greater knowledge and capacity is what makes sense, I think. Does that answer your question, Dan? Yes, okay. mostly. Okay. Um, do you know if there's any student input or students that are um, looking to give back information to the leadership team? Do you know if that's happened? Around school safety yeah. issues? Yeah. Um, I, we yeah. could find that out. I'm not sure. Um, since the um, social justice work that was done here recently, I'm not sure what the communication is, but I mean, it's, it's certainly something we could bring, find out and bring to you. Is, is there going to be a paper talk exercise at all? I don't know the answer to yeah, that. It's not been planned. something when I was on the Berlin Emergency Management Team. It's very helpful to go through a paper talk exercise. So, I mean, you know, it's all people just gathered in a room like this. You're not really doing anything but you have a scenario in front of you and it's figuring out what do you do as you read through it who is going to be doing there, what yeah, yeah. Helpful. there are the um agency of education and the safety committee with the agency of education put out the, the uh, scenarios and they put it out in their um weekly memo and we do work with those with the safety team members and so pulls it up and it says, so what if um, a intruder, or it was reported to you by a parent that there's somebody out in the parking lot who is being very irate and da 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 what would you do, what is your next step, what is your next step? Mm -hmm. We make sure that we have 
all of those in place and all, all of those um, ideas. And it doesn't give you any specific answer. It just is, what would you do in your school? And uh, through going through those, there have been some questions that have come up that we have to um, get the answers to. So they do have those kinds of things, and that might be a good place if we wanted to do it district-wide to start. Well, the, the difference between what you're describing and a tabletop exercise is usually a tabletop exercise you actually have at least one evaluator there, where mm -hmm. there isn't necessarily a right answer. That's true. But it's somebody taking notes and kind of keeping track and giving feedback. And mm -hmm. so it, it's not like anybody's being judged on whether they were right or wrong. It's just for That's that feedback really to follow idea. through. Mm -hmm. so. All right. And I think when, when it becomes the, an agenda item, I think talking about how you want to engage the community around that, bringing that together, would be a, in that, at that point in time of conversation. So yeah, I think putting it on um, May or June, like we said, after the leadership team, yeah, have some conversation. My turn? Yep, your turn. <laughs> All right, 8.0, board communication. Just went over that pretty well, I'm guessing. Yep. All right. So they want to make a motion I'll to I'll make a motion to adjourn at 7.33. That, Eric, is the fastest one you've ever done. You're welcome. Congrats. You are welcome. Good job. Thank you all.